Hello everybody, I'm here, and today I'm playing some game. I don't know if people still remember this game. It's a bit of a legendary one. No, it's not legendary wings. It's zero wing. What happened? Somebody set us up the bomb. Classic dialogue, we all know it. We get signal. What? No, actually it's just what? It's not even a question, is it? Main screen, turn on. It's you. Yeah, I'm doing voices now. How are you, gentlemen? No question. All your base are belong to us, the classic meme. You are on the way to destruction. He looks like a villain from... from... X-Bomber. You have no chance to survive. Make your time. <laughs> Music's rad on this intro. <laughs> Captain! I keep saying it like it's a question. It's not. They're just they're shouting. Take off every one zig. Take off every zig. I like that. A little animation. Flick up the switches. It's nice. You know what you're doing. So here's the thing. I've never played this game. Um, I've got it on. I've got, I, I, I hacked my Mega SG. It's the first console I've ever, for great justice. First console I've ever done a done a soft hack on. Um, and you know I wanted to play something retro. And normally I, I don't just load up ROMs and stuff. But you know what? Fudge it. We're going to have four player just to give us a little bit longer because I'm not going to last long. Let's face it. This is going to be a five minute video. Um, but yeah, zero wing guys. It's it's a game. Um, I don't know how to check. It says original game at the bottom, and I don't know if that's an option or not. Let's just start. Natoles. Slotten? I don't know. But yeah, I've, I've never played this game. I understand it's a shmup, isn't it? I literally know nothing about it, really, beyond that um, that intro. Because that intro was famous literally like 20 years ago that first became a meme. Um, I was working at Toys R Us when that became a thing. We used to just keep saying, all your base are belong to us, and somebody set us up the bomb. Uh, all those lines. Um, I've got a feeling this is going to be one of those things where the actual game itself is incredibly mediocre. Um, which, you know, I mean, it isn't uncommon, is it? That's, you know, memes don't have to come from a good game. Boom, 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 A. B does a thing. We'll find out what that does. This has definitely got a little bit of... Um, X-Bomber influence in the designs of not those things, but that first ship that we came across, that is like straight out of X-Bomber or Space Sheriff might be Space Sheriff yeah, that's that's a Space Sheriff looking ship, what's this blue one do? ooh, lasers yeah, what was, what is that insect it's, this reminded me of oh, these home missiles, jeez that's a lot of missiles to home in I'm going to block the bottom one as well uh, let's go to the bottom way. Can my ships fit? They can, look at that. Okay, you know what? People call this game mediocre. This is alright. Because um, I'm lasting more than five seconds, which is, you know, rare in a schwup for me. I don't like that when they keep coming out like that. Stop it. Oh, it's not a homing missile, it just guides towards them. Got it. What was it? Was it Space Sheriff Gavan or Shader? Right, what does that one do? I don't know, but I don't like it as much. I wish I had the uh, the homing ones again. <laughs> the sort of homing ones. They were better. Is it the blue one for the homing? No, that's the laser. Green was the homing, wasn't it? The music's good on this. Oh, freaking rad. I keep worrying. I keep dodging to avoid my um, options getting hit. I'm calling them options because you know, our type um, but it's only the middle one I have to worry about, isn't it? that's the only one I have to be be careful of I was going to play a bit of um, Scat which is um, whoop, on the oh, there's a laser, the, not the laser missile, um, it's on the NES Virtual Console thingy and Scat's a really good game um, unfortunately it's also incredibly difficult and I'm terrible at it, we're playing this on easy I should have put this on normal I think, this is a bit this is a bit, uh, what, you, what would I say, lackadaisical, lethargic, relaxed, let's say relaxed. What is that? 
I still don't know what this does. Oh, okay. It does that. <laughs> well, I'm not going to collect the red one. I like the... Um, I like these missiles too much. These missiles are the good ones. Um, but yeah, this is the first video I've recorded since Paul came over at the start of the month when we managed to um, get past our COVID lockdown break. Um, should be able to get together again soon, hopefully, and record some more. Probably in July. I still haven't had a chance to go up to Kev's. I've had my first vaccine shot in the last couple of weeks. Um, where are we continuing from? Nearby? But yeah, I've had my first vaccine shot. Um, let's see. Oh, it's really close. Um, my first vaccine shot a few weeks ago, which was alright, that. You should um, go get yourself shot in the arm with COVID vaccines. Um... Yeah, I had a bit of a headache and I had a, like, sore arm for a few days. Oh, he is ugly. Whoa, oh, God. That's... Wasn't expecting that to home in on me. How am I even going to get through this first stage? <laughs> Maybe I should have loaded up Gynog instead or something. I, could do, I can get to the second stage of Gynog. <laughs> Whoop. No difference between A and C. And of course this game doesn't have six buttons. This is a game where I remember when I was a kid, I remember it being around, but no one gave a shit about it. <laughs> but um But yeah, this is like it became a meme in the early two thousands. What can I do with that? Ah, uh, is that my last life? Oh no, no, we're still going. But this became a meme in the early 2000s, out of nowhere. Back in the days when you'd have one meme and it'd last like six months. At some point we just, you know, memes last 4.6 femtoseconds, don't they? They're not really real things anymore. Anyway, let us know what games um, you'd like me and Paul to play when he gets around next, because that is, that is on the agenda. Um... We've, I realised earlier that we never played Cook Serve Delicious when he came down around last. I've got the third game. We keep meaning to play that because... Oh, Smeg. Okay, I'm bad at the boss. But we keep meaning to play Cook Serve Delicious 3. And um, we were talking about it all the way through lockdown that we were going to play it. And, oh, can we continue from there? And, um, yeah, we do. Sweet. Um, but, yeah, I, I forgot I had it. <laughs> I forgot I had a code with a Humble Bundle. So next time he's around, we'll try and remember to do Cook, Serve, Delicious. Get some indie games in there. We did a, we did a couple of PS2 this last time. No one's watched the Justice League video, but because it's nearly an hour long. Don't blame you. I'm still trying to stick to not having multiple part videos. Because what I was finding nowadays is that people just don't watch multiple part videos anymore. They'll like... They'll watch part one. You'll get a few views and then people just drop off from there. So if you don't get many views on the first part, you're not going to get many views overall. It's not worth it. What does that do? <laughs> Someone explain to me. Comment in the description. Tell me what that thing does. Oh my god, you friggin... Comment in the... Oh, it's... it's okay, checkpoint. That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where was I? I've lost track of where I was completely, to be honest. It's all, it's all just gone wrong. But yeah, um, I've been busy this week as well. I've got myself a desk now. I've never had a desk. I've always sat on my bed to do my games and edit my videos and stuff like that. It's one of the reasons videos actually take me ages to edit because it is kind of uncomfortable and painful to edit while sitting on a bed. Um, but now I've got a desk and I need to set up a second monitor on there. And I have two monitors. I'll have like basically a little production corner where I can edit my videos and monitor chats in streams and things like that got an iPad as well the other week, it was my birthday at the start of the month and treated myself to an iPad. I got paid twice this month from the job I had ended at the end of May and the new job I would started in May. Fucking hell I'm bad at this game. But um, yeah, been, been doing alright this past month. I got myself an iPad because I've been having the urge to get back into drawing again and if I can, Jesus, if I can get the hang of drawing getting on that. I've never done digital drawing before. Um, it's all new to me. But if I can get the hang of it, then, you know, I can um, maybe do some art for the channel that's not pixel art. You bastard. 
I wanted to get through stage one. Does it give me a continue? Because I'm having fun with this. This isn't actually bad. This is pretty, pretty standard, but I like it. All right, I need to kill that. But yeah, I've been fiddling around with um, Procreate to, you know, get the hang of drawing again. I used to draw all the time. I used to do comic books and stuff when I was a kid. Give me the green one. I like the green one. There's the green one. Give me that. Yeah, that's better. But yeah, got a, got a nice desk set up. I haven't got a good chair. Um, I've got some logistics I need to work out. I've just I had to get myself an extension cable for my keyboard because I was like, I still have want to have the PC connected to my bed, and and I want also want to have it on the desk. So basically, be able to switch between the two whenever I feel like it. Um, but obviously, I'll need. Uh, oh my god, that was difficult to dodge for some reason. Um, but obviously, my keyboard's not going to reach from. <laughs> from the TV, from the computer desk to my bed. Because I want the TV to be used for like, you know, when I'm watching movies through the PC, streaming, like watching Netflix, playing PC games and stuff. Jeez, I'm terrible at this. I just went straight into that. Because, um, you know, I don't want to be playing, you know, Doom Eternal or something on a friggin' tiny monitor. Right, let's get down low. Let's blow up all these. Oh my god. I want to finish stage one. Come on, let me do it. How many continues do we get in this game? What's that? Oh, that's my lives, isn't it? I was thinking, what's the little ship thing? All right, let's just stay back. Let's keep blasting. We'll let some go past. I did it last time, obviously. And then we'll take on this boss, and it'll be easy. I'll beat the boss because I'm good at games. I'm really good. You got, you know, you can look on my channel and find all the games we finished on here. It's probably about five games. No, I just. Keep it simple. Small movements. Don't need to do big movements. I'm gonna pro this. I used to be really good at shmups. I've got to be honest. <laughs> Me and Paul used to play them all the time together. We'd play um, Ikaruga was a favourite and Greatest Five. Look at that! I told you I'd beat the boss. Is that the end of stage one? I think that's the end of stage one. Guys, you're seeing more of Zero Wing than anyone has ever bothered to play through before. This is, like, I mean, you look at it, it's kind of bland, it's not imaginative or anything, and it's, that ship is straight up taken from Space Sheriff Gavan, I swear. Um, if it's not Gavan, it's like X-Bomber. Um, yeah, it's not imaginative or anything, this, but it's fine. Like, you know, maybe, maybe it deserved to be a meme, with its bad, poor translation. You know, it managed to have that little bit of infamy, to give it a little bit of extra... A bit of extra life that it probably would have never had. No one would remember Zero Wing if it wasn't for that translation, would they? Let's right, grab that. What does that do? Tell me in the description. <laughs> Tell me in the comments. I still say comment in the description because of Adrian Bliss. Again, this music is great. Like graphically, this is like not amazing. It's probably about the level of pixel art I could do. Ah, oh, god, I can't get up there. Should have gone up there. Oh, there's another one. That's okay. Give me lasers. Ah. Well, we made it to stage two. I've recorded a let's play. <laughs> we can call it a day. That's actually quite fun. Um, I. I say, give. What was the game called? Zero Wing. <laughs> a chance. It's all right. It's not bad. But anyway. I'm going to spend the rest of this week trying to pack stuff up. I'm trying to find a box for Lego Dimensions because I'm going to send that to Under the Moons so he can have it. Um, go and check out my uh, my newest channel, um, Ant's Bot Collection, where I recently showed off all the figures I've brought this year. It's way too many. And um, Reacting Sentai Yopper Ranger, that's the other side channel you know about, the one I do with Kev when I go up to Scotland every now and again. Um, we posted a new video on there and it got a, content, it got a copyright strike from Toei. So I've got a copyright strike get a strike against my account now for the next few months. That'll go until August. Um, I will try to put another video up, but I'm probably going to be really careful about how I edit it and trim the clips down real small. Um, but we'll see. But anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Zero Wing. I actually think that's all right. And um, I'll catch you later. Let me know what games we should be playing on the channel. If you think of any retro games I should keep an eye out for, um, I want to get some games that are a bit less about shooting and fighting stuff, something a bit more chill, but anyway, 
I'll catch you later. Bye.